Hey you guys, welcome back to the web series that I have been doing for a hot minute. Y'all who have previously watched me know that I have also done an art club podcast. So let's just get right into it. I know with episode one we started with the base foundation, hero's journey. Um, I've also want to implement here that I do look up frequently on YouTube and not even that I've actually read articles I've gone onto Google and simply looked up webtoon artists their process and we usually I'm going to simplify it down to three different stages for you when it comes to web comic making so to cut to the chit chase, the big thing no is materials. So let's just dabble with digital. So the three main stages digital is going to be we have inking, flat colors, and then all the fancy whatever you want to add, highlights, and you can go from there. Usually we say in digital, it's called layers. So make sure you have lots of layers and you make sure that you organize or at least know what layers are what so indeed we do talk about this a lot in the art world in fact we talk about how materials yes materials are a way of expressing how the artist communicates with the world oh i need this fancy what, what do you have a pen and paper is fine and honestly you don't need the newest iphone to take a picture of that drawing upload it you can actually easily download a free app nowadays ibs paint hey whip something up and you actually can easily look up the point by point increments of the page size from webtoon they have so many videos on oh you can just make the page uh, larger and you can actually slice it down so it, it you cannot give me any excuse to not do your web comic now to not communicate with the world who you are as a human being simple okay we're not trying to make this oh all this so continuing on knocking back the people who think that you cannot do it let's just get that out of there we don't know so moving on we've talked about materials just a pinpoint okay we're mind mapping we're playing around we've talked about story we have talked about characters main cast how many do you want do you want three do you want five rest up to you that's usually what everybody sticks to. And that's something that I actually found very similar in specifically my high school days. Specifically my middle school days. I would stick to this character. I would kind of be upset, right? We would be so obsessed with kind of what they visually looked like. But they had no story. They floated in air. There was no background. There was no world building. So, indeed, we are going to move on and to talk about world building, story making. So, I do want to go back to our reference. Yes, Hiro, Hiko, Araki. There are so many different books. Everybody's referring to different things. I just keep... Going back to this specific book because it is the closest one to me. And we are going to talk on how to differentiate your characters. Let me be very clear. I'm not going to do the work for you. Your teacher's not going to do the work for you. Your mom's not going to do the work for you. It's the same application as when you do your homework. The only person who's going to do the work is for you and you alone and this is why it's so important to talk about individual 
artist's perspective. This is why I like meeting y'all. This is why I like getting to know y'all. Why? Because when y'all tell me about these, you know, just a part of your life, I learn something. So how? How can I differentiate a character? How do I make something so complex that goes into the story? Well, when I was doing my research, i.e. watching a thousand, I mean a hundred different webtoon videos, webtoon, webcomic making videos over and over again, I got something very similar out of all of these different things and that is arc, story arc, the conflict, the resolution, all of that. The ups and the downs. That is how you make these get into your mind. These that these characters are gonna really push and pull the story. Oh, now it's piecing together. We'll chew on this for a bit and then we'll come back to it. Dang, son, where'd you find this? All right, so if this is gonna separate, this is gonna really make y'all want to see. All right then. All right then. I double dog dare you. Write this down. Characters in a bubble, themes in a bubble, setting in a bubble, story, and art in the bubble. Do that. Mm hmm. In theory and practice. Okay. So we're going to hit up all these points. For one, let's do art directed with the, the, the connection to story. So, who are you? Who are you as a human being? What are some of your favorite things? You want to put that into the story, don't you? Right? What are some of the things that you don't like? Come on. Do you want to put some of those things in the story? Cut out what you want, what you don't want. This is all you. Some people, the fir- the first time that I actually created a comic, I didn't know that I couldn't do it by myself. I actually collabed with some people. And whenever I collaborated, you know, things would actually happen. I actually created the comic. And that is how, you know... The comic book club was created because it started off with a bunch of passionate people enjoying the same thing. So some of the things that I enjoyed growing up, and this actually goes into... I don't know if it was the first or second episode that I did, but basically talking about references and some of the favorite cartoons, films that I enjoyed coming to the top of my head, Mad Max Fury Road... Baby Driver, Curtis the Cowardly Dog, Foster's Home of Imaginary Friends, Adventure Time, Avatar The Last Airbender. I did enjoy Steven Universe growing up. And that's, yeah. Oh, and I love Cowboy Bebop. Wow. 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 Of course, everyone, Hayao Miyazaki. I, I just, so many pieces are coming up in my head now. I just love animation, mainly. So, anything with storytelling, really strong storytelling. Mm Mm-hmm. Yes, so I must say to end that point, it is the importance of the story and just who you are. Just be honest with yourself. Uh, Be honest that, you know, we also do risk a a lot professionally with our wrists, the safety of our, you know, please, it's just because you do six hours of drawing does not mean that you have to stay there the entire six hours. Please take those 15-minute breaks. We, you know, we put a lot of time into this. We put a lot of love into this. 
And we, we get just as excited as any other human being about our projects. And I'm, I'm so grateful for, you know, you listening. But we, you know, if no one consensually agreed and said, yes, I'm going to, you know, I'll put in the work for you, you know what I'm saying, then please don't continue to bother people. It's the worst thing in the world is, you know, a fallen comic that you just don't want to go back to and you know it's an amazing idea, you know it's an amazing story, don't stop. Don't ever stop being who who you are, who you, you know, the message that you want to tell people. But know that, you know, these other people around you, they're, hey, they're not going to do the work for you. You have to do that for yourself. You have to make this comic for yourself. And whether it's one comic two comics. I always recommend just starting off with one comic and again, I do have to res- uh, reference um my teacher, um Miss Hirsch. She was like, "Hey, do si- do you at least have 60 chapters for your your comic because th- you're telling a story and people can go back and be like, "This is still my favorite comic because it has a, a nice start." Um so far, I'm on my 7th episode so I'm so grateful but I do have a lot more to learn there will always be room for growth and just keep it spicy (laughs) y'all like stay sassy um get that razzle dazzle (laughs) um and keep the ideas flowing sometimes it's just important to have tiny little notebook on you or maybe some even if you get an idea and you have a pen on you write it down on a napkin and you're like in a restaurant like you need to like get a napkin really quickly and just write it down because you will get all these unique ideas in the most unlikely places and that is the beauty of life and just being a human being and living life so thank you so much Please um, feel free to read my free comic, which is on Webtoon. I will be starting so many stuff soon, so don't be, you know, I'm, I'm really grateful. Every two weeks, y'all.